Hello again, welcome back. As you can see, that was a bit of a knobhead pour. I've let, I've let, I've poured some more and I've let it settle, and then I was reading that from the the sub, the crop sub, it's, it goes down to two centigrade, two Celsius. And I've been reading this beer should be served at between ten and twelve Celsius. So I has been standing. Not that long, but it's, it's warmer than it, it was. This is from Bira Moretti in Italy. And it's a La Rossa. It's a bock. In fact, it might even be a double bock. Double bock. I think it's a bock. 7.2% ABV. And would you look at that colour? Let's have a wee look to see. Oh my goodness, it's like, there is a reddish hue to it, I suppose, very slight, but it's mostly dark brown, uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful colour, I've not left much room for a swallow there, no, yeah, it's malty, maybe it is still too cold, there's not a great deal coming off it, but, I'll wait a few minutes. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Sublime. That's toffee and licorice. Caramel. That's so, so nice. No, there's hardly any hot presence here at all. No bitterness to speak of. It has got maybe a slightly floral uh, scent to it. Fruit flies. In November. Global warming. So, I've got it in my beer Amaretti glass, but it's the wrong glass. This is for L'Authentica. Always a good sign when the fruit flies start appearing. And you're in your beer. Means it's a good beer. So, will we break this one down? There, I'm prepared. I had friends round on the weekend, so I had cleared everything away in a box, so I'll probably rake everything out again. So, shirts are a bit on the tight side as well. Weighed myself this morning. Sure, you're fascinated by this. Two hundred ninety-eight pounds. So, from two hundred twenty-four pound, I was last year. Put on seventy-four pounds in about a year and a half. This isn't a factor. So, it's back to the healthy eating, I think. And maybe one beer a day. Okie doke. Let's break it down. We'll do a wee light test with this. And see, it doesn't really work. With this type of glass, with the, under, the underneath. Does it? No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> I don't know why I could even try that. Well, this is the emergency flash, I think. So, the colour is... I don't know what you would say that is. A 15, maybe? A saddle brown? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with that. 15. Uh, the clarity, well it's clear, there's just some like condensation on it, but I can see the outline of my hand through it, I'm going to say it's clear. Colour of foam head retention is moderate, there is a lacing on the top there, it's been there for a while. The foam texture is thin, visual carbonation none that I can see. The aroma alcohol, 
this video has been a disaster from the very start. I think I've, this is the third time I've tried to, to record it as well. Because the, the first pour was just froth. Then the second pour wasn't much better. So, these things are sent to try us. Aroma alcohol. You know, I can't really smell the alcohol, even though it's 7.2. The hops, there might be slightly floral, but I don't know if that's hops. The malt, yes, it's caramel. Uh, toasty, toast. The esters. I wonder if there's maybe raisin or something like that. Fig, maybe even fig. Uh, the flavour and aftertaste, alcohol. I say mild. There's no, there's no really a great deal. The seven point two is well hidden. Hot flavour, none. Hot bitterness restrained. Yeah, the malt flavour, it's toasty and caramel. It's absolutely delicious. The malt sweetness, I'll say, is medium. Palate astringency is low. The body is soft. Palate carbonation is low. The length is long. Balance and drinkability desirable. Style appropriate. Not that I've had many box. Where's my... Let's have a quick look on Untapped to see what it says. Although maybe I should have had this up already. Right, there it is. So it's uh, La Rosso Molto Brunito from Bira Moretti. We are in uh, Udini in Italy. It's a Bock, Doppel Bock. It's 7.2% ABV, IBU is 16. Oh my goodness, French check in 3, we score 2.83. So it's not to everyone's taste. This is right up my street. I wonder who it is that's done it. Yeah. No score on that. Yeah, I don't know who's scored it. Anyway, uh, everyone else are 60, 67.500 check-ins with an average of 3.42 the descriptors are malty dark sweet smooth light I don't think it's light it's probably medium bodied I am going to give this a 9 out of 10 because I absolutely love this style of beer I love malty beers it smells malty and it tastes malty. Like rich caramel. That's absolutely beautiful. There's a very, very slightest hint of bitterness at the back. But it just makes you want another drink. So this is a magnificent thumbs up. I did have one of these open on Saturday. But we polished it off in no time. I think we were going to get a glass each, and that was it. Yeah. So I thought, I, I bought two. I thought, I have to review this. I have to try it again. So, just a quickie. No, it's not quick. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Try it. Oh, yeah. I think I'll top it up. This video is jinxed. <laughs> Cheers, my dears. <laughs>